I've heard you guys say this a couple times. The role of the government is to de-risk early innovations. Let's talk about that. Should that be the main role of government in innovation? I had a complete schizophrenic life because I was working sometimes for the government and sometimes now most of my life for private sector. So of course, market, market, market will fix everything. There are certain areas where there is no market. Mm -hmm. So it is very difficult to wait for the market to fix things. The private sector has so many different choices. You will go in front of a big pension fund who can choose between investing in oil, in mining, in venture capital, in private equity, and, uh, and usually the risky business of venture capital, it's not a priority. Mm -hmm. So there is a kind of a role of the government as a catalyst. Where I think it's important is the government operates with the same parameter of private sector. Accountability, we want to see the money back. Maybe the, if the company is successful, then this is a loan. It's not a grant forever. So there are ways to, again, structure, incentivize it as a, a, a funding. After a certain point, though, the private sector need to be present. And if it's not coming in, means that we were studying something or we're doing something that was no interest. People care about something that affects them personally or company the same. So. I would say in certain areas, especially when certain capex or where the result is binary, it works or it doesn't work. Um, I think that the presence of the government is important. Um, later on, um, public-private partnerships work very well together. Um, I'm always very concerned when the government says, we don't want anything back. If it works, great. I'm like, no, 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 no. Take money back and reinvest it. Do it as an evergreen fund, meaning there is no shame in having back the successful venture and then being paid for it and take the loan, whatever. You're not going to go and squeeze the shareholder, but be a normal shareholder. I don't know about de-risking. I mean, I really, really don't know about de-risking. Mm -hmm. Um, but certainly, there's a government role in the creation of public goods and the creation of public goods in, in the sciences. So, you know, public goods are things that, that, uh, that nobody individually is going to invest in because they can't capture the, the returns from their invest investments. There may be things like libraries or um, public databases. There's a big um, push now to try to create um, some databases that will include both health and genomic information and lifestyle and environmental information that could then be used um, to track uh, individual health over long periods, long periods of time and begin to understand um, what therapies work, what therapies don't work, for which groups and, and, and why. Um, the government plays a role in bringing together uh, corporations to create standards. Um, and so one of the areas that, um, that I'm interested in is uh, if, if we're going to start using AI in the healthcare sector, um, you know, what are the metrics by which we determine whether these algorithms uh, are actually telling us something that is reliable about the health of an individual, mm -hmm. um, and that is something that you know right now is shrouded in in a fair amount of um, uh, of secrecy. Um, so you know the creation of specimen collections is you know something else that the government can play a, a role in. Mm -hmm. So certainly there's there is a, a, a government role in. I don't know if one would call um, sort of public goods de-risking or you know shared uh, a shared benefit that otherwise will n never come to light. I would like to um, get back to the idea of public goods because this is an example for market failure, in particular if we're talking about small and medium-sized enterprises. Not like the big investments your company is doing, but talking about like the majority of the companies, mm -hmm. which are small and medium-sized, not in the high-tech sectors, but also in the low-tech, mm -hmm. medium sectors. And they are quite a lot of times restrained by um, well, the financial markets, capital markets, not working properly for them. Very because true. Um, you have, like, um, well, revisions, and you, um, as, a, as a bank, you have to follow certain standards to make sure that the money you give well, to the companies will get back. So, um, so we also should think about instruments that also allow these kind of companies, which are less interesting, uh, well, they are probably not fantastic stories about them to tell, but which is the majority of the economy to, to think of instruments um, that allow them to get the necessary funding for their kind of innovations. That Very are true. usually small innovations and they don't need big, well, money. So they need maybe like um, 
a spark, an initiative to actually get innovation implemented and moving and to actually make contacts to like university, public research institutes, etc. Mm -hmm. And there where we, well, there I see an opportunity where government money comes in and there are certain instruments like innovation vouchers and um, to get um, the interaction, the knowledge transfer um, moving to build up um, networks, relationships to well, other companies, to exactly. well, public research institutes. When uh, I was talking about an ecosystem, I always we use the word ecosystem, then I, get, I actually um, I feel sorry about it because ecosystem people think, especially when it comes from ladies, I'm, I'm still, <laughs> it feels like we're talking about pandas and things that <laughs> are disappearing. We should talk about infrastructure. Like we need a strong infrastructure for innovation. And infrastructure has public goods, absolutely, standards. Whose responsibility is this and when? Mm -hmm. And actually, knowledge, a knowledge-based technology and innovation is the responsibility of everybody. We need to be a school at age like five, six, seven, to tell how important it is to build innovation, to have innovation and to build companies. Being an entrepreneur is not something that you do because you're not good at becoming a doctor, a lawyer, your parents are crying because you know, the only thing you can do is, well, I guess I'll start a company. No, <laughs> it, is, it is an incredible role in society and, uh, and it takes a village to, to create a corporation, and a corporation shouldn't be considered as evil corporation. No, to the contrary, we can have corporations that give back to society. They invest in the, the, in the, the 80%, they, do, they donate. Canadian corporates are, because of experience, way behind on this, meaning they immediately shield themselves, oh, shareholders, fiduciary duties, I cannot ever use my funding for this. And I'm like, well, are you taking a lot of protectionist ta tariffs from the Canadian government happily, I think a little portion could go into really fostering this type of uh, in infrastructure.